also keep the things that the hardcore audience that's been there for you for the very beginning can sit there and enjoy the things that they've been loving since the game came out, right? I'm a big fan of this guy. I'm a big fan of Melty right now. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? That you can do that. Yeah, that's cool. I'm happy for Melty players. All right, what's going on, everybody? We are back. You already know I'm about to tell you guys right now. Support your boy. All right, so today's video, we went ahead and we watched some Melty footage, man. And I was really hyped. But something stuck out to me today. I went ahead and we was watching a video. And they were talking about the idea, concept of keeping Melty Blood as Melty Blood. Even though we're bringing new stuff that is accessible for the game. And that caught my eye. And I was very, very intrigued by that. And we're going to talk a little bit more about it. But... Before we jump into it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and let me know how you guys feel about this video. Let's jump into it. Dyke FGC made a video. If somebody could give you permission, can you uh, post a link in here? I actually want to watch it while we're here. We got 22 minutes of content. I'm already a big fan of this guy already. Apparently, I guess somebody got like nearly copied the game or something like that. And uh... what's his name? What's this guy's name, bro? We need that. We need that disc. Why is nobody on Twitter uh, being negative about this? We need this negativity right now. But a very crucial piece of information here, uh, actually, they talk about right here. It's a low hurdle as a fighting game. So basically, it's going to be something that's going to be easy for people to get into. So because of that, they're basically saying it's going to be a more accessible version of the game than ever before. A lot of developers are trying to cater to, of course, more casual audiences. So I think this is actually really cool, right? When I was just looking at it, I was like, oh, so these are all auto combos. More accessible version of the game. That so it actually before, makes sense now. He also says something that a lot of developers need to take note of. And he says that he was scared. The person was scared that, that when he touched the game, it wasn't going to feel like Melty Blood because people are scared when you make games accessible, you take out things that they're used to. But he said it. he was surprised that it actually felt like Melty Blood. Who knew that a developer can actually, you know, keep things into a new aspect like make things to a new aspect to where people want to try out something new but also keep the things that the hardcore audience that's been there for you for the very beginning can sit there and enjoy the things that they've been loving since the game came out right i'm a big fan of this guy i'm a big fan of melty right now who knew who knew who knew that you can do that yeah that's cool i'm happy for melty players but what they were talking about here is actually that the rapid beat actually locks you out of doing reverse beats. And if you know anything about Melty, oh. games, especially under night and stuff like that, reverse beats is very, very strong for doing your pressure, for establishing and reestablishing your pressure, understanding the value of accessibility while not also hindering your players that want something more, right? Bro, that's, I feel like, I feel like this, this guy is, he, he, ah, preach, bro. Preach, preach! I'm so happy. This is this is this is the kind this type of fighting games that I, when when they make it accessible, I want them to do. It's like make it a middle ground so everybody can be happy, right? And not just one side all the time. And then the other side's like, damn you, other side for making this situation worse for me. Type sh accessibility became definitely became a buzzword. Free and dumbed down too. I. I'm, I'm always sick and tired of people just using that word and then it's not like used in a good term so people could not make it seem like basically saying like this is why it's bad because it's accessible which is not true you want it to be accessible but there is a middle ground that you can also meet and you know a game i actually feel like that was actual kind of middle ground that a lot of people don't talk about persona 4 arena dude i thought persona was actually pretty pretty nice and then afterwards, like a little bit of Undernight, just a little bit with the smart steer. And then after that, like, it just kind of like went all over the place, I felt like. Actually, Cross Tekken did a good job too. The problem was, was the gyms. But I also thought Cross Tekken was pretty accessible too. And it also kept that balance as well. It was like, yeah, you could do like these chain hit combos. But if you do links, you get more damage. And even some of the best players use the chain boost combos, right? So we actually get a video of it. So this is the A combo. About to show the B. Oh, that, that, there's no okay, damage. So, like they, so it's pretty fast. Now he's showing like the classic combo. You see how much. Oh, so it's like a damage difference. So A and C after successful shield results in a shield counter. 
the after successful shield results in a cross up counter which locks on. Oh, that's interesting. That I didn't know. Huh. So the, their Wait, actual see. moon meter, we've seen Arquay do it in one of the trailers before and stuff like that. But this is very interesting, obviously, that they could do it like this. So it seems like, from what I'm hearing, it seems like the C move, uh, the, the moon mechanic is actually very important. It seems like that's where, like, a lot of the crazy options are going to come out the more meter you have, right? Which is pretty cool. I think that's pretty interesting, right? So I do like that, to make it more accessible, they, uh, they separated the meter. It's kind of like its own thing, rather than, like, you don't have to, like, spend meter to, like, do stuff. You have to spend like your moon. So I think that's pretty uh, pretty cool too. And the last thing he said um, for the explanation was after a shield clash, the attacker can cancel into shield at any point. Oh. So that's very interesting right there. So of course, it seems like- Do I like the extra bar given after losing a good round? Uh, I don't really think it's such a huge thing. I don't think it's gonna be a huge thing like generally, but I feel like when you're actually gonna be competing, I think that means a, a, a whole world honestly because imagine if a character is like ridiculous with meter and it's like super broken with like max meter and they just get a bar for losing one meter could really change just a match like drastically especially in a game where you're not sitting still in a round start you're, you're already dancing so i think when it comes to like a certain level getting a meter is like crazy right like if you was watching two of the best players like you know play and uh, one person just gets a meter it's dangerous the fact that the last art and blood heat are locked behind four bars mean it's probably going to be important. Yeah. The attack That's also something to point out too. This is why I talk about shield wars. So we see- Ah! Oh. Like, oh, this, this looks kind of crazy, bro. The shield war that you can do right here. Can you like, can you like throw out a shield? Can you like shield throw? Cause I wonder if, cause, cause throw just beat shield, right? So maybe throw might just be like the, the way of like, kind of like ending the whole like mini game, right? Shield has recovery? Okay. Bro, that's crazy. So, I wonder if she was able to hit her because she was behind her. Yeah. So, I wonder... See, she was shooting back right here. That's interesting. She was shooting back. But because she was behind her, I wonder if that beat it. So, it may really be an actual guessing game, depending on what you do. All right. So, last one, we're talking about the moon skill explanation. So it says moon skills are upgraded versions of your special moves. It says they can be activated by inputting a card uh, cardinal direction along with BC. Ah. Some of them can be jump canceled on the whiff, which is very strong as well. Moon drive will upgrade your moon skills and the magic circuit will slowly increase. Damn. Allow an additional air dash and an additional jump. So not only are you gonna get better movement. Yeah. So normally in Melty Blood, you normally get like uh, a jump and like two air dashes or double jump and air dash now it's they they just did a jump double air dash and then another jump that's, so, that's so scary strong. bro you give any player mobility bro oh crazy wow. because not only this but we've been talking about it before it can be used as like a pause button because it actually just frees the screen so the opponent can see what you're doing and react accordingly it sounds like chain shift situation where there was a video of uh, Aki where she did her like anti-air. She doesn't really normally get anything off of that, but because she was able to cancel that into Moon Drive, she was able to That's run cool. all the way up and pick that up for a combo. That's like chain shift. Saying that she could do that. And then uh, he says, uh, however, you cannot Moon Drive cancel moves when invincibility if they are blocked. Okay, so I've been That's talking like. about this for a while. That's also an Undernight. I think Undernight got that, right? I don't think so. Could be really I personally like that because I also think that's really easy as well. Like, I think it's really, like, easy to kind of, like, implement and kind of, kind of understand what's, like, happening. So I also think that's really, really good. What what it seems like they, they're doing is, like, because Undernight had a lot of accessibility, like, mechanics in the game. It seems like they're bringing like a little bit of those mechanics and they're like trying to put it into like the melty world while also keeping the melty feel. That sounds very promising. Would I play this over GGST if I end up liking it more? Uh, I'll be playing both games. I just like the, the, uh, the, the reasoning behind developers just like idea. If it's a great idea, I'm really, really like for it. I'm like, oh, they're doing this, but they're also making a commitment of these changes, but also making this feel like that has me interested as a player and a fan. So I'm super, super interested in that aspect. I'm like, oh, so you guys are really thinking about it from like the future of the game and also the new beginning of the game too. It's not just the new beginning and then, oh, we'll eventually fix everything else later. It's more of just like, yo, we're, we're thinking about this here now and we're also thinking about this in like a year. 
because we like we know people are gonna want to play this game. And we want this to also be fun, but we also want the new pl uh, new players to enjoy the game. But we also want the old players to love the game too. So I really like that. The most funnest period is the exploration period when nobody knows exactly yes. what's happening. Nobody. Exploration period is definitely one of the most fun in the game. When you have so many things to go and think about, so many things that you can test, that is the fun part. And I don't know who in their right mind feels like a new player can't do that. You know, exploration is never a hard thing to do. Having no information is the hardest thing. Godlike ass video, bro. That makes me so happy for this game, bro. I personally am super excited of what French Bread is going with this game. I'm sure everybody else is going to be pretty happy. Uh, I'm really liking that they were like, yo, they, they talk about the most important things. Yo, I was afraid that since they were going to go a new route that this was going to happen, but it actually pretty good. Anime face st fans, they win it, bro. Facts, yo. I'm super excited for this game. And that video actually made me even more more excited.